self-conscious about my belly. I was saying that like a lot of plus size models that I see like in stores, they are bigger, but then they have flat bellies. I started this series because I would get questions like, how do you pose for people like this? And the truth is there is no one pose fits all. There could be two people in front of me with the same body type, but drastically different in what they want to see in photos of themselves due to different beauty standards, worldviews, and relationships with themselves. And to shed light on this, I decided to show and not tell through the gallery. On a scale one to five, how confident do you feel in front of the camera now? Um, I don't know, like a three. Around like the pandemic time, my body has changed a lot and it became a point of stress and struggle for me. And I think I just stopped, I just stopped being in front of the camera kind of altogether. In those like preteen teen years, I would critique everything. Or if it was a group photo, I'd be like, why don't I look like my friends and they're not they don't have a double chin or you know all this this stuff that I'm just like picking myself apart most often I feel big my husband is shorter than me and whenever I'm in a photo with him I try to make myself as small as humanly possible so I feel like when I look at photos I don't look at myself it's because I look big I feel like when you're a kid you have less expectations of how you're supposed to be growing up like with a lot of social media and stuff and you know it just got more complicated for me I had an employer basically call me fat in front of the whole company. So it was just really difficult to hear and it kind of triggered a lot of my self-confidence to go back to being really low. Mm. And I still definitely have critiques of myself. They're not as harsh as they were back when I was younger, but they're obviously still there. When I was like a little girl, we would fight to be in front of the camera. We would all be like, it's my turn, no, it's my turn. And so uh, that's very different than today. Today I'm like, go ahead, your turn. What does it mean for you uh, to be a plus size woman? It's just so empowering to feel comfortable in my body. Allowing myself to like, just accept my body for how it is and how it's going to change and mold and shift. What are some parts of you that you really want to show off, whether it's um, external or internal? Um, I like I like showing off my height. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm 5'11", um, and I'm newly like happy about that, so I like to show that off. I like my legs. Um, I like my butt. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to see an imaginary photo in front of you, what would you feel looking at that photo? What would you see? I think it'd be something really joyful. Something fun, maybe a little bit silly, like a little bit sexy, just like a little bit. I love my, my chest and I want to show that off more because that's something that I've hid for so long. My arms, my lower stomach, and then like my chin are areas that I don't really know how to <laughs> make look good in a photo. Can you show me a little go-to pose from the chair right now? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I hope I have one. <laughs> like... Thinking about, <laughs> All right, that's the vibe. All right, okay, let's do this again. Beautiful. I love how I don't have to say a single word. We just move in already. Yeah. Let's go for Just the eyes to me, sir. What's really important when it comes to posing is our hips. Going from both our body, booty cheeks to sitting on the hip side. Let's just try both feet up top. What feels better for you? Comfortability wise, this. You wanna see? Ah! <laughs> like, what? I love it. I love it. Thank you. Oh, thank you for oh, Thank sorry. you for trusting me. Um, well, I can't wait to show you the final pigs. And thank you. Awesome, thank you. Well, we're about to see everyone's fabulous photos. I've picked um, three from each of your shoots. I did my best in like rounding up what I think are the top three. So, Sarah first. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you're right. laughs> Let's have you look away for a second. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm gonna look through your eye. Shut <gasps> up. Are you kidding me? Stop. <laughs> you look amazing. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. It's like a bad bitch. It's <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> amazing. Sarah, without turning around yet, what were you looking for? I was looking for like more femininity. I'm conscious about my belly. I was saying that like a lot of plus size models that I see like in stores, they are bigger, but then they have flat bellies. Mm -hmm. Facial expressions for sure, and then my arms. I'm self-conscious about that. Okay. All right. In three, two, one. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes when I get close to you, close to you, close to you. I love this. Yes. This is everything and more. Like what? That was a tough one, huh? Oh, that like holding that pose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't. I can't believe this. Wow, I, I'm obsessed. I'm always like big, big, big cheesy smile. And so like I'm maybe like, I feel like that's all that's in my toolbox, but to see it expressed this way is different. Yeah. You know, it's not like goofy. It's like still like a, it's like a sexy smile. Yeah. I love them. This is amazing. Wow. My husband's gonna love them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Candace, you're looking away. <laughs> she does <laughs> Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Dude. That one is probably my fave, fave, fave. She's absolutely stunning. I'm curious to know what she was insecure about because I, I see like all of the, like I just see it all here and she looks Amazing. so like powerful. You look powerful. Yeah. What kind of Candace were you hoping to see? Maybe a little bit like, like a little sassy, a little fun, a little fruity, I don't know, just something yeah. um, that was joyful. I think I said joy a lot because mm. I wanted yeah. it to be joyful. That was really important to me, so. You got that girl. You got it. <laughs> Let's turn around in three, I'm so nervous. two, okay. one. <laughs> <laughs> Go, girl, Go. look. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think that face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I feel like they all look really natural. Like I feel like I always feel like I look awkward in front of the camera, but these all really feel natural and authentic to yeah. me. And I absolutely love them. Wow. And you look cool. I look cool. <laughs> I look a little bit cool. I so. joy, like six. Like there's so much joy that's coming out of that. Yeah. yeah. Let's go into Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> both of you, ready? Ready! Oh, Three, two, one. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, wow. I feel like this is like soft, feminine, romantic. Yeah. Romantic. Romantic. That's right. very romantic. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine's mm. in the magazine. It's done. It does, really. It's literally done. It's like a minute. perfume ad. What were you going into this really looking to see? Yeah, definitely like soft, beautiful. I want to do like a little bit of a sexy vibe, um, but soft was like mainly what I was really going for. And what were you conscious about when it comes to photos of you? I was also conscious of my belly, my midsection, uh, my chin as well, and my arms are kind of another big thing for me. Wow, let's look at these photos and you can turn around in three, two, one. <gasps> <laughs> oh my God, yes, number nine. <laughs> What? Baby, don't stop. Got the key to the lock. We in our own zone. Make yourself at home. Get to know mine on the inside. We can meet at yours next time. You mentioned sexy. You mentioned yeah. soft. Was the other one I said? Okay. Yeah. Which one do you want to sprinkle in a little bit more of? Mm -hmm. And you decide it's soft. Yeah. And the, the part where I was like, ah, should I? Should I? Mm hmm. She said, yes. <laughs> Yes, okay. <laughs> so over here, the light is uh, filling in all the way. Mm -hmm. And I was like, if I really want to go for soft, yeah. I said, yeah. should I move the light around? And there's some delicate ways to do that, mm -hmm. to make it work. Because you know you can't just place light and be like, oh yeah, it's yeah. delicate. It, there's some nuance to it. And that's what happened. Wow. Yeah, I, I love all of them. But yeah, that one like really has captured what I wanted yeah for sure that's i think that's the thing for me it's like um 
bringing everyone under one common thread, but like everyone's so different, mm -hmm. right? Like I've asked everyone, um, what did you or who did you wear today and why? Why did you decide to represent yourself the way you want to represent yourself today? And I've used everything I could to create, hopefully again, something that you've loved for yourselves today. I love it. And I feel listened to. I feel heard and seen like for who I am. Because I think that some people, like when you say like, oh, I have this insecurity, they're like, oh, no, girl, your arms are beautiful. But you didn't say that. You listened to who I was and what I was saying. And you're like, cool, that's what you're insecure about? We got you. I was really nervous. Yeah. Um, but I think that the process is supposed to be like really fun and it's supposed to be a conversation and a collaboration. Thanks for letting me photograph all of you and opening you. up and sharing your stories. Thank you, David. Thanks, thanks. yes, thank you. Oh, so much fun. Yay! <laughs> David, make your signature quack noise. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. I need it. Okay, I can do a, I can, I should, I feel like we should have all done it. <laughs> Thank you, Eduardo, for getting David's butt. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm going to